morning guys. This morning I'm doing a top surgery. This patient's been transitioning for a couple of years on testosterone and I want to talk to you about why I'm doing the technique that I'm going to be doing. So this patient is going to need a double mastectomy with a free nipple and a free areola graft. And the reason for the double mastectomy is because there's just too much extra skin and the the areola nipples are too low on the chest to just do it through a keyhole or periareolar incision. So in order to make the chest contour more masculine, tighten up the skin, and place the areola nipples in the right position, I have to do what's called a double incision with the free graft. Now, what's special about this case is also that I'm not gonna just do a free nipple and areola graft combined because the nipples here are just too big for what a smaller areola would be. So I'm gonna actually end up taking a small areola graft and then a small piece of the nipple and graft them separately so they have a more masculine look. So I'm gonna get started with the markings and I'll bring you back in. So I just completed my markings and really took a lot of time to make sure these markings are as symmetric as possible. I'll do any adjustments in the operating room if I need to, but this final incision is gonna be a nice gentle curve from here out to there. And then once I close these incisions, I'm gonna see where the best location for the nipple and areolas are, and then I'll place those. But what I really wanna stress about this surgery is this is not a breast reduction. This is chest masculinization. And so it's not just important to have a masculine contour, but have the right size areolas properly placed, the right size nipple to areola relationship. There's a lot of thought that goes into this surgery to achieve the best outcome for these patients. So I'm gonna head back to the operating room and get started soon. So here we are in the operating room, about to do this uh, FTM top surgery. What I did in this case was I actually marked out where I'm gonna take areola from. His natural nipple is way too big for the size of areola that I wanna take, so I'm gonna take the areola separately and then take a piece of each nipple to use as a separate nipple graft. And I'll show you what that means towards the end of the case when I'm actually doing the nipple and areola grafts. So this here is the nipple from the left side and I'm going to actually make it much smaller at the end of the surgery to use as a free nipple graft. So I'm going to put this in its appropriate container for now. I'll come back to it at the end of the surgery. So I removed the breast on this side, but now what I'm going to do is go in and feel this and start contouring this. This is really important to, to really start to shape the chest. And I go in and I feel where I think it's still a little thick and want to thin it down to get a better contour. And I just kind of trim it down until I'm happy with not just getting a flatter shape, but a more contoured shape. And this is really an important step. Just thinning out these areolas to get it ready to be put on as a areolar graft here. And then I'm gonna take the nipple and make it much smaller to be used as a free nipple graft. So it's really important to know how thin to leave these. Not too thin, not too thick. It's where experience really uh, comes into play. This is the reason why I have to do a separate nipple graft. So come on in here. You see, this is 
his native nipple, and this is the size of the areola that he's gonna finally have. Obviously, this is way too big for an areola this size. So what I have to do is take a piece of this nipple so I can put it in the center of this and make it match his new smaller areolar size. So here's the original nipple, and I took a little piece of it, as you can see, right out of here. And this, I'm actually gonna even make this a little bit smaller once I have ready to sew it in, but you can see this is gonna match this areola much better than this whole thing. And so now I'm just gonna do the same thing with the other nipple. I just finished closing the incisions, nice symmetric incisions here. And these are the markings I made for the new location of his areolas. So what I have to do is take the very top layer of skin off on either side, and then I'm gonna sew in my areolar grafts, and then I'm gonna sew in separately the nipple grafts on top. So I'll bring you back in for that. sewing the areolas on and I'm just marking where I want the nipple to be. Uh, pretty obvious, it can be in the middle of the areola. And what I'm gonna end up doing then is cutting away this piece of areola and then sew the nipple down in there. So here's my nipple here. And it's gonna go in here. I make them a little bit bigger just because there is gonna be some decrease in the size uh, as it heals. So I just finished this uh, FTEM top surgery with double incision mastectomies and free nipple and free areolar graft. So you can see really nice symmetric incisions, nice gentle curve that matches the curve of the pec. And these are separate areola and separate nipple grafts. You see now the areolas are in the right position for a male chest and the nipples match the size of the new smaller areola. He's gonna do fantastic. I just have to put the dressings on and we'll be done.